Hello, everybody. Uh, I was in the middle of working on the second part of the Halo Spin the Wheel video, and then a video popped up in my recommended. It was Corey X Kenshin's video uh, about YouTube. And, you know, I'm a big Corey X Kenshin fan. And so I went to watch the video while I was editing. And he pointed out some things that I figured I'd, I'd address from my side of things as a I'd, I'd, I'd say as a small creator. He said uh, about how his Mortuary Assistant video got age restricted uh, and he got in touch with his, his YouTube rep and talked to his YouTube rep and was like, hey, you know, it's got, uh, this got age checked. So like what, you know, what caused the, the need for the age check? and his rep looked and was like oh you know, it might be this part this is the only part that like i think could be like this could be what got you age checked so Corey, you know the man he is he took that part out of the video re-uploaded it but he had also done some digging and looked at other channels other famous channels you know markiplier and uh and and all these other people who made mortuary assistant videos and he checked them all and found that like they all had that part but they hadn't gotten age restricted so he mentioned that to his youtube rep and was like hey can you like kind of poke him and be like hey that like you you guys age restricted my video and my in this case being cory uh you age restricted my video and then uh oh i missed a step he had put in an appeal it put in an appeal to see about uh not having that video age restricted and the appeal got denied that's why he got in touch with his youtube rep in the first place and then the rep told him and then he took it out and then he did some digging and was like oh these other people have not gotten age restricted so um then he was like hey like these other youtubers have have these have like this scene but they're not restricted like what's going on there and they're like oh and then they unrestricted his video but then he was like, no, I expected them to like double down or like or at, at that point, triple down and like uh, uh, age restrict them all. Because if I, I mean, it makes sense to me. If there's a reason that they age restricted something, it would make sense that every instance of that reason should be age restricted. Because that's just how you do things. You, otherwise, it is in fact showing some sort of favoritism, which... Corey eventually said straight out like he believes that there is a uh, bit of a favoritism thing going on and honestly I agree with him because there's some people who are just like they'll do they'll like upload things and they're things that either definitely go against the terms of service or they just seem like something that shouldn't be allowed on YouTube and they're allowed to stay and then somebody else will do something that is either similar or you know something that's something that's not as bad uh, uh comparatively and they'll get their age restrictions or their strikes or their whatevers so the like looking looking just looking at the facts looking at the facts of the case it looks like there is favoritism going on in youtube now uh, one thing, one thing I will say about Corey, uh, he's a Christian and I like that. I'm a Christian too. It's one of the reasons why I watch him so much because he definitely like shows being a Christian in, in what he does, you know, how he handles his videos, how he handles his community. And it's the reason why his community, or at least what he figures his community should be based on his, his video about, um about to this you know the one he titled to the samurai community that video like based on what his community should be based on what he's created it to be is is, is an example of how a christian should lead a community so honestly i think youtube's thing isn't as much racism or uh, and well i mean it's definitely favoritism and racism could play a bit of part a uh, bit of play in it but it's also most likely because of the fact that he is a christian a someone who's not afraid to go public and be like yes i am a christian 
and as far as christianity goes like even like in the bible there it specifically says that like there will be people like most of the world will dislike you most of the people of the world will try to put you down for being different and i i i believe that's like that plays a big part into it because yes he's yes he's black but i mean recently with the whole black lives matter and uh, and those those types of political thing situations um it it <laughs> i i don't think it's just like oh because he's black because now you walk up and it's like oh people are so afraid of offending somebody who's black because you know it might be such a terrible thing and uh, like to, to to be against someone of a different race because then it's like oh you're being racist and nobody likes to be called racist and nobody likes to be misconstrued have the have what they say or do misconstrued as being racist um so that could play a bit of a part in it but probably not as much but i believe that him being a christian publicly being a christian and actually acting like a christian could be a large part of why favorite more favoritism is shown towards other creators and why his stuff is scrutinized a bit more heavily and i i will say that like that's that's something that's kind of sad as far as our reality goes because like he's he's like I, every time i look at his comment section it's people who are like oh man he always you know he always makes my day you know every time he posts is, makes me happy and such and that's that's one of the ways you can tell that like not not only is he a christian but he's he's doing it right but it, then there's then there's other people in the in, in his comments who they, they cropped up just recently who are just like making terrible comments and so on and so forth and it's kind of it's kind of sad to uh to see it happen but um yeah as far as cory x kenshin and his channel goes i wish him the best i hope that they can get through the situation uh we haven't gotten a response from youtube yet so once we get that response I, I will be very excitedly looking forward to that response and uh, and I might and hey if you if you guys like videos like this I know there's like very minimal editing because I figured I'd just crank it out and then just <laughs> crank it out real quick and and stick it up while I'm working on it, the other video I, I I I find that I particularly like putting on things like you know long essays or long talks between peoples and such about situations whenever i'm doing something so hey maybe it's only great background but yeah um i am working on the next video uh it will be out if not tomorrow then the day after tomorrow because i'm pretty much as soon as i finish recording this voiceover gonna cut up a few things insert a few images and then slap it up so uh thank you guys for watching um if you have anything anything else to that need, that you think needs addressing or like if you have any questions or anything feel free to put them in the comments i'm willing to if i don't know the answer <laughs> go and find out the answer for you guys um so yeah have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Peace.